Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Azure Database Services. Starting at the top of our list is Azure Cosmos DB. This is a fully managed NoSQL database. It's designed for scale with guarantee of 99.999% availability. Uh, Azure loves talking about this database. It's their flagship database because it works at incredible scale and an incredible performance. So whenever you're thinking about like, uh, like super large databases, think of Azure Cosmos DB. Next on our list is Azure SQL Database. And even though it doesn't have it in its name, this is for the MS SQL uh, uh, engine. So if you're running Microsoft SQL, uh, you're going to want to use this. It's fully managed with auto scale, integra uh, integral intelligence, robust security. So it has a lot of great features built around this for MS SQL databases. Now, if you're not using MS SQL and you're using something like MySQL, Postgres, or MariaDB, they have Azure Database. So it's fully managed and scalable uh, with high availability and security. Then you have SQL Server on VMs. Uh, again, it doesn't have it in its name, but uh, it's Microsoft SQL uh, Engine. Okay, anytime uh, it says SQL servers, just assume that it's the Microsoft flavor of SQL. Um, and, th and the idea for this one is that if you already have SQL servers running on premise uh, within your data center and you want to move them onto Azure, uh, this is where you'd use a lift and shift. So it takes those virtual machines and directly moves them onto the cloud. You don't get all the functionality that you would with Azure SQL database, but it's the easiest way to get onto the cloud. Then you have Azure Synapsys Analytics, previously known as Azure SQL Data Warehouse. It's because they added a, a, an analytics component to it, um, but it's a fully managed data warehouse with integra, uh, integral uh, security at every uh, level of scale at no extra cost. Then you have Azure Database Migration Service, so migrate your databases to the cloud with no application code changes. So there's that service. Then you have Azure Cache for Redis. So if you need an in-memory cache that is using the open source Redis, you can use that. And last on our list is Azure Table Storage. We mentioned this in the storage services, but to me, this is a database. It's not a storage service, um, uh, even though it's named as such. So wide column, NoSQL database, a NoSQL store that hosts unstructured data independent of any schema. So there you go. That's the Azure Database Services.